I'd like to get started, so if you could take your seat, please. I'm Shirley Fenton. I am a manager of the Internet Project. I work in the Computer Systems Group and one of the co-hosts for this series today. Uh, this is the Smart, uh, Smart Health uh, Seminar Series, and we're focusing on innovators in the healthcare system. Uh, with some delight, we have Roger Gerard, uh, the executive lead of Ontario's Smart Systems for Health Agency, and uh, he'll be telling us about the initiatives of the Ontario government, uh, the eHealth initiatives, and uh, as well as about SSHA, and the role that they have in leading Ontario, I guess, hopefully into a new generation of how to do things here. Uh, one information note, uh, next month, June 18th, uh, we are pleased to announce that our speaker will be from Canada Health InfoWay. Uh, we will have the Chief Technology Officer, and uh, his name is Dennis uh, Giocas, and uh, he will be talking to us about uh, the role that Canada Health InfoWay has in uh, developing uh, Canada's electronic health care record architecture solution. Uh, so it should be a very interesting talk. That will conclude our seminar for this session. Uh, we'll resume again in September. So uh, hope to see you back in September as well. So without any further ado, I'll introduce uh, to you Dominic Covey. Chair in Health Informatics Research at the University of Waterloo, also co-host of the seminar series, and he'll introduce our speaker. So it's uh, Roger. Welcome. Uh, the uh, I just wanted to mention, by the way, about our series in the fall. We have gotten the agreement that uh, Alex Sadad will kick it off. He's probably the best-known person in the area of uh, uh, interactive systems and uh, human uh, 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 interaction with systems in the country, and maybe in. Uh, many of the places in North America, so I think you'll enjoy that. Um, getting Alex here is quite something because of his busyness. He actually was in Time Magazine, think of that. Uh, but not, not to, have you, you been in Time Magazine? Probably in the criminal <laughs> section. <laughs> I've, I've, known, I've known this guy for quite a while now, and uh, he, he made one great mistake in his life. He, uh, joined a company with me back of, how long ago, 87, 88? 87, 88. And for three years we, uh, we dealt with each other, which was a, a growing point for both of us, right? <laughs> and uh, Roger, I, reading this thing is, is kind of crazy. You already mentioned the key point about smart systems for health. But Roger is probably the most uh, expansive, not expensive, <laughs> chief information officer in Canada. He's run two of the largest organizations uh, of... Uh, uh, hospitals that have pulled together their information services uh, to collaborate and to create a more cost-effective environment for computing. At one point he was running a 160 hospital consortium out of Manitoba and I don't know that that's ever been equaled in terms of its total size. I remember the CSO in Ontario was big but I don't think it was that big. He went from uh, uh, there and through a, multiple jobs. One was uh, working in a at least, what, three or four hospital consortium in Montreal? Yeah, five. Five? Uh, huge uh, teaching hospitals, uh, which probably had a, a total capability of equal to Manitoba Health in some ways, uh, and pulled these people together and got them to work together for many years. I think that's a remarkable achievement in this field beyond anyone else I've known in this country. Um, he's uh, worked with companies. He uh, worked with the Unisys. Uh, and right now has his own company called Health Options Incorporated, a uh, consulting firm, uh, and taking maximal advantage of smart systems for health right now, as I understand. Uh, he's a member of COACH, uh, the Canadian College of uh, Health Service Executives, the people who are administrators of hospitals. They're called CHEESE, which is kind of cute. And also uh, the Canadian Advisory Committee for ISO 2C215, responsible for the development of, of standards within the healthcare systems. So very interesting, uh, also I don't know about this, on the IM Information Management Task Force of the, Cana the Canadian Cancer Control Strategy. So very interesting background. Uh, just one personal note, uh, he had probably the largest effect on my business life than anybody I've worked with. When I was doing research back in Toronto, we used to have uh, computers all types then to do our documents. Form of work. 
as I started companies, I had money, so I started hiring people. And hiring people uh, is interesting because you come to hate those people, particularly when they're working on your documents. But when we're working together, the secretary hired. And uh, why don't you ty type your own documents? And I said, well, that's kind of retro. Why do that? And he said, because it'll save you a lot of time. And I started at that time using word processing equipment for the first time, very early versions, uh, uh, including Word uh, Perfect and things like that. So Roger changed the nature of our business. Eventually, we're doing all, all of our own documents, saving money, and more than anything, not having to put up with those people that uh, we had to put up with before. So Roger, I welcome you. Glad to have you here. At, uh,